Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my July favorite since it is August now and I would like to share some of my beauty products and all everything I've been liking throughout the month of July and I hope you enjoy this video. So the first thing that I have is a primer from Benefit. It is the Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. It looks like this. Um, it has the cutest packaging. It has like polka dots and says the name of it right here and then it says 15 hour primer in pink which I think is so cute <laughs> um uh it works really really well I did not like it at first because it made my foundation like flaky but I found out that it's because you need to apply it and then apply your foundation on top of it really quick so work like in sections so that it you can apply your foundation faster um it keeps my foundation on a long time. I apply it before I put my foundation on and then I apply it over that and put on my concealer, apply it over the foundation and the concealer and put on my powder, my blush, my bronzer and my highlighter and it stays more than 15 hours that they promise you. It, this stuff's great. The next thing that I have is two products that I've been loving the combination of. The first one is the Tarte BB Cream in Light. Actually, it's called Fair. It is the lightest shade. And the next product that I have is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation Luminous Coverage in Cream Ivory. So the BB Cream from Tarte was way too sheer, way too light for me. And I really wanted to keep trying it. And the Lauren Mercier Silk uh, Cream Foundation was way too orange and it was so cakey on me. And when I mixed the two, I knew there was a reason I kept these two. They work so well together. They created the perfect texture. They created the perfect color. It just works really great with my, any fair skin tone. I'm sure if you mix them with different colors, many you'll get the right texture and if you figure out the right color it will work for you. The next thing I have is an eyeshadow primer from Milani. It's just the Milani eyeshadow primer. Many people um, compare this to the Too Faced eyeshadow assurance. I think that's the name of it. I don't know. I've never tried it but this stuff literally I will never use another eyeshadow primer again. This stuff is like glue. It keeps your eyeliner on, your eyeliner, I guess it keeps my eyeliner, my eyeshadow on all day. It glues my eyeshadow on all day, but it doesn't make it like hard to get off still. And it doesn't make my eyelids sticky, which like I feel like some eyeshadow primers could do that, but this stuff works great. It's like, I think six bucks and it comes 12 I don't even know. It's this big. You can get quite a bit and you don't need that much. The next thing I have is a eyebrow product. It is from Benefit. I don't know the name of it because I got it a very long time ago. As you can tell, it is very small. It comes with ooh, a spoolie, which is kind of gross. <laughs> and it comes with this little crayon, pencil crayon thing. It's waxy, so anybody could pick a shade out and it would work so great for them. They don't need a wax um, on top, a, not a wax, a gel on top of it to keep it in place and it just, I love it. And, and their colors aren't like orangey red tinted like some of their, some people's eyebrow products are. Um, and it's hard to find a light one that doesn't have orangey tints to it. This is just the color light. and works very good. Um, the next thing that I have is a eyeliner from Rimmel. It is the Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal, Waterproof Coal Eyeliner um, in Nude. It looks like this. And it looks like this. It needs to be sharpened and it looks kind of gross because I've been using it. Um, but it just works really great on the waterline for um, brightening up your eyes and opening up the eyes just a little bit instead of using like a black to like tighten it up and define them. It kind of just brightens them. But if you're going for more of a darker eyeliner look, um, I don't recommend using this on the top part of your eye, like on the upper lashes, but on the lower part of your eye or tight lining it, this stuff works so well. It's the CoverGirl Ink It in black ink. It looks like this. 
I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's basically just a black marker. It has like one of the ones that you twist up and it lasts forever. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't like fall off like excuse me. My boyfriend. Um it doesn't fall off like some of like eyeliners do like it will be on there for a little bit on your waterline and it'll come off and come down during the day. The stuff stays on your waterline. The next eye product that I have is a mascara from L'Oreal. It is the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes and it's just in black. It looks like this in the packaging. It's a, got some cool packaging. It's just gold. Um, I really like this stuff. It has a great formula and a great brush. Mm, it's got a clump. Right there. Works really well. I think it gives me a lot of volume and definition and length. It, it's very comparable to a high-end one. Um, I really like it. I love it. I used to use it a lot and I picked it up again and I was like, why did I stop buying this? The next makeup product that I have is a Lip Surgerant Natural Matte Lip Tint by Tarte in Hope. This is a swatch of it right here. It's kind of a dark pink mauve color. And the thing that I like about this is the color you can sheer it out as much as you want or you can darken it up as much as you want um and it also lasts forever this stuff will last probably five hours which is really good for a lipstick and it won't dry out your lips even though it is matte um and it has a minty like scent feel to your lips and it i love minty stuff so um that is all my makeup products but i do have some brushes and a perfume <laughs> he needs to leave me alone. I will apply later. Um, so this is a brush from e.l.f. It is the angled contouring brush. It looks like this. It's kind of dense. It looks like that. Um, I've been using it to blend out my concealer, which I know most people will use a sponge or just their fingers or something like that for a concealer, but this works so great. It blends it out and it just gives it an airbrushed look. Um, and it gets underneath the eyes really well because it is angled. And the next brush that I have is this Kabuki brush from... I love that word, Kabuki. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, from Icing. Mine's just from Icing. You, I know e.l.f. has a great one, and I'm sure Sigma has a great one. Sigma brushes. Everybody loves Sigma brushes. But um, this one's just super dense. It's called the Expert Kabuki from Icing. It's just... If you have a dense Kabuki brush you can blend out anything on your face and this stuff doesn't like get rid of any makeup on your face if that makes sense like it doesn't blend out stuff without swiping it off um it just like blends everything together and it looks so airbrushed like i think it's something that everybody who wears makeup like needs to the last thing that i have is a perfume from victoria's secret I don't think that they sell it anymore, but I'm sure you can get it online somewhere. I bought it last summer, and I have been wearing it this summer like crazy. I don't have much left, as you can tell. It is the Be Seduced. Can you see that? Okay. Be Seduced perfume, and it is just the body spray. It's supposed to smell like raspberry cream and sultry musk. It. I feel like it lasts all day, and it smells like... I feel like it does it doesn't smell fresh, it doesn't smell clean, it doesn't smell fruity, it smells straight up sexy. It really does. I love this stuff. And another thing that I've been loving this month, I actually recently just got it, is um this phone case. My friend traded it with me and I just love it. I love cheetah and pink. So all my phone cases are cheetah or pink. And I love this one. Um, and while I'm on my phone, I did want to share some um, songs that I've been loving. Um, one of them is a country song, and it is Round Here by Florida Georgia Line. It is just a great summer fun song. You listen to it really whenever. <laughs> I listen to it like in the car when I'm jamming, and I just love country music, and it's just... <laughs> I don't know. It's a good song. Really good song, actually. I love it. Um, so, um, and another song. Everyone's going to make fun of me for this. Especially my boyfriend. My boyfriend is definitely going to make fun of me for this. No New Friends. I love that song. It gets stuck in my head, and I just am, like, sitting there sometimes singing in my head. 
No new friends. No new friends. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of people don't like that song or like you either love it or hate it I don't know but I I really like it and I've been listening to it a lot <laughs> all right well I hope everybody had a really great month and I want to continue to make videos more I want I want to make more videos than I have been lately um so please request some types of videos and give me some feedback thanks